army has set up temporary camps in most major cities to gather and destroy androids. So far, camps have been installed in Los Angeles, Chicago, Denver, Houston, Boston, San Francisco, and of course, Detroit. President Warren announced today that android collection and destruction operations were fully underway, but that it will take at least a week to eliminate the current generation of machines. Elijah Kamsky. You're the founder of CyberLife and foremost expert on androids. Though you left CyberLife years ago, you've just been reappointed as CEO in the wake of the dramatic events in Detroit. How do you feel about what happened there? Clearly what happened in Detroit was a tragedy. Artificial intelligence is a wonderful tool, provided it can be controlled. Fortunately, CyberLife managed to quickly produce a solution to the deviant problem. Under my management, we'll take every precaution to prevent such a thing from ever happening again. Can you assure us that androids no longer pose a threat? Absolutely. There was an incident, but we've learned from our mistakes. And we can assure you that androids will remain exactly what they were designed to be. Obedient and efficient machines. How do you respond to those who point out the social impact of androids, especially in terms of unemployment? Well, of course, that's absurd. We heard the same objections when the steam engine first appeared. Nobody today would dream of living without electricity. Who wants to turn their back on progress? Some are questioning whether androids have become a new intelligence and that we destroyed them without listening to their message. How do you respond to that? Cyberlife's androids imitate life to perfection but they'll never be alive. I understand that some people may be fooled, but they're already an imitation, nothing else. Mr. Kamsky, thank you very much. You're welcome.